So, are you clear about what this is all about? Yes, by not satisfied. With um, the Ombudsman's refusal to take on board the complaint of criminal negligence by the County Council, uh, elected and unelected official. Right, okay. Um, I don't, I'm not actually involved in the investigation, no, I so that's not, you, sir. that's not an issue for me. But what I, as I explained to you yesterday, what I've been asked to do is to come and see you yes. to see whether you have any complaints yes. and if so, what are those complaints that we can deal with. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, if, if they are non-neighbour nuisance complaints, yeah. I will make a note of them and take them back, but that's not what no. my role is. Do you yeah. understand that? Yeah. Because uh, you know, you spoke yesterday about you know, the water things. rates and yeah. inequality about things like that. Yeah. But that's not within my remit. No. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't think it's a matter for the Cardiff Council either, because that's a uh, yeah. Well, they are your landlord, yes, but I, I'm not too sure whether they have any control over that. But in any event, that's not within my sort no. of uh, okay. remit. So, um, uh, you've, have you prepared something for this morning? Well, I, I've jotted down a few notes on following that conversation. I'm not satisfied that the Ombudsman's not um, willing to investigate the complaints of criminal negligence or malfeasance. I can come to counsel towards myself, um, elected and unelected officials, like I said. Um, I feel that um, because you're both from Cardiff County Council, um, you're unlikely to investigate officers who have the responsibility to protect tenants from abuse. You're asking for officers to be investigated? Yes. Yeah. But again, that's not my role. No. no. Well, if they're party to the abuse, mm -hmm. then they as far as I can see, need investigated, but then again, because you probably have lunch with them and whatever in the canteen, mm -hmm. you probably s perceive them as good guys, and I don't perceive them that way anyway, shape or form. Right, okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if you're aware, but you, you received from my card that I, I work in yeah. 101 House, and it's only the community safety team that's based there. I'm not saying I don't come into contact with other council officers, but, yeah. but uh, I don't know what your perception is of that, but I don't work alongside Housing management. Okay, okay. Um, you talked about Mr. Fowler being dissatisfied with um, my video of him. You also talked about um, that I should make um, written um, records mm. of complaints of naval nuisance. I've got two naval nuisance books. Yes. I supplied them to the council. Can you tell me, can you tell me when? Uh, I've got the specific dates, but it's in the blocks. Okay, how, how, what year are we talking about? Um, 2002. 2002. And I think the other one was in 2004, maybe, something like that. Right. I'm not sure exactly specifically. Um, <coughs> they, sent, uh, they sent me a letter telling me that uh, it was the notes on those nuisance neighbor booklets were insufficient evidence. Right. I discussed this with somebody and they. Uh, very kindly offered to supply me with a video camera mm -hmm. so that I could gain sufficient evidence. Right. The first video on my YouTube site that you see if you go through back to the back mm -hmm. of the at the beginning of uh, Mr. Fowler was taken on the day that I finished shooting my um, water wheels videos. I came home and Mr. Fowler had been threatening on a number of occasions to burn the screens down that I have between my then my garden mm. and his drive. You say screens, are those um, curtains? Curtains, yeah. You know. yeah. Well, he tried to burn them down on a number of occasions. Mm. He tried to do what, that. What's the purpose of those curtains being put there? To stop Mr. Fowler's bindweed from growing all over the plants that I had growing there. Also right. to protect him from his vehicles when he was packing them right up close. So in the afternoon when the sun was beaming on them, mm. it wouldn't beam onto the plants as much. So they right. serve two purposes. Also, mm. it gave me a little bit of, um, if I was out there, I didn't have to look at them. Look at Mr. Fowler and his family, because right. they seemed to take great um, delight in whenever I was out the front garden and tending to it, in coming out there, turning on music, mm. whatever, when they never do that normally. 
So those are the reasons I started videoing this fellow. The other one where he's happy to carry on me filming him was um, when they were doing the first bird, uh, he was making a bird cages mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't object to that. But then again, I didn't agree to him dumping two tons of earth on Mr. Watkins' section in the garden, clay soil. Mm. There was all the bricks and whatever that was involved in all that. Are you talking about the area of land to the side of the house? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did Mr. Watkins complain about that? No, Mr. Watkins is quite happy to see it carrying on. Because that land belongs to yeah. him? Yeah. So, so you were you were actually objecting on his behalf, although he was well, for two years prior to Mr. Watkins turning an up and living at number 15A, mm. I cultivated that land, put a lot of time and effort into it, mm. uh, horse manure, whatever, mm. other stuff, you know, building up the soil so it was suitable for growing things um, because it hadn't been attended for at least 20 years by the look of it when mm. I got there. And um, that seemed to me like just another desecration, as far as I'm concerned. And Mr. Fowler's having a good laugh, and Mr. Watkins having a good laugh at that. That's how I perceive it. Well, I, I haven't spoken to Elder about that, but is it the case that Mr. Watkins was agreeable to him doing it? Yes, he was. Right, okay. And um, so that's why I was videoing that. Okay. It, it, you were videoing him then, uh, and, and what is the justification for placing them on YouTube where it's there for public viewing? So, um, nobody was taking a damn bit of interest in any complaint that I'd made. I'd asked to be moved because of Mr. Watkins' threat of physical violence to me in 2000, February 2002. Uh, Cardiff County Council engaged uh, Taff Housing's tenant supporting mm -hmm. to rehouse me. I had this tenant support worker for three months and then I was raising all the other issues that I'd like mm. to raise with the Ombudsman regarding tenancies like uh, the one I lived in. just stop me there. See, what you're saying is that Mr. Watkins threatened you yeah. in 2002? Yes, February. Right. February 2002. Um, and what was that about? He threatened to rip my fucking head off. For what reason? Because I asked. No, uh, he called on my property of an evening the day that um, he'd been in my property with the boy from next door, Gareth. And this Gareth had asked um, me to show him how to draw something, mm -hmm. a bridge. So I was explaining how to do that because at that time I was doing copies of artists' um, work. Mm -hmm. um, funny enough, one of them was Paul Gauguin, <laughs> which I kind of find ironic. Um, Mr. Watkins had his washing machine on that day and the smirk on his face when he started rattling the ceiling and the conversation that was going on between them and me mm -hmm. I found irksome in the extreme so when Mr. Watkins turned back up that night looking for something off me I just said I wish to be left alone right now and that's when I had to that's when he threatened you? Yes. Yeah. And that's back in 2002? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. And, and did you... Um, I reported it. You reported that to the the housing office? The housing office. I have to stop this every... Okay.